No, I saw this story about uh, this particular actress that's in Nigeria. Her name is Ifu Anada. Now, this woman, if you look at her Instagram, she has about 1.2 million followers on Instagram. She's verified, and it says she's a beauty entrepreneur. She's a multi-award-winning actress, um, TV host, event host, content producer. So she was also back in 2018 on the Big Brother Nija um, show, and uh, she was one of the housemates. Well, what got people talking about her um, is a post that she made but if some of you have not seen her or just kind of how she moves around, let me go ahead and play this, you know, short clip. Well, you saw uh, Ifu there and she had hinted to her fans and followers that she wanted a certain kind of married life. Now we know that in Nigeria and many, you know, other African nations, um, polygamy is normalized is, you know, a way of life, you know, having more than one wife for the most part. And a lot of men brag about that. They got two wives, three wives, you know, in certain countries like Ghana, you can have, you know, the monogamous marriage. You can have um, the marriage where you can have four wives. Like the, I think it's the, it's the Islamic marriage. So you can do that. But what she's saying here, we got people to talking, especially with her following. And she says, I think I want to marry three husbands the way it is doing me. They're just thinking out loud. Now she said, adding her post that she uh, is feeling this way at the moment. And perhaps when the time comes for her, so she was a life partner. She may reconsider her interest in having three husbands all to herself. Um, but people kept talking about that. But, you know, I, I'm bringing this up because polygamy itself, I couldn't participate in anything like that. For me, I have to focus all my attention on one woman. I couldn't have two other women in my house. Let's think about that. So you got three women and you got to pay for all three of those women because you can't in, in the true polygamy, you have to provide for all three of those women. Some guys can't provide for one. Let's call that what it is. And some guys we want to provide for their kids. So you have some guys that big enough polygamy, but you don't understand in those cultures, you got to take care of the whole house. So you having children with all three of your wives, you got to put food on the table for all those kids that you're going to have. It is not a walk in the park to have quote unquote three wives. And usually it's not the way that this woman is talking that you're going to have three husbands. It's usually not the way it goes, it's just the other way around, but because of her position and who she is, that's why everyone is talking about it. Now I know, you know, certain people we've seen out here like uh, brother polite and we've seen people like uh, RJ Mahdi. Here's another one. I think he got two wives um, from what I've seen on his Instagram and actually both of them, are African American and he's African American. So, you know, Hey, some people get down like that, but Phil couldn't do it. Not whatsoever. No, I gotta have one woman and that's it because you know, it takes a lot to learn one woman, to learn her ways, to learn, you know, what makes her mad, what makes her sad, what makes her happy, you know, what, you know, makes her tick in every which way, shape and form. And to learn that with three women or four women, not me. Now I know a lot of the people, especially here in this country, and we talking about the African American community. A lot of you are polygamous too. You just don't live with each other. You know what it's called? Side chicks. That's your version of polygamy because you, some of you have a whole, and we've seen this before. It's not nothing new. You have a family in this house. Then on the other side of town, you got a whole other family. You got a, a female and some kids. And the old people back in the day used to be like, look, I know he got a whole nother family across town as long as he pay these bills here and he don't be disappearing no holidays and, and he take care of his kids like he's supposed to and he don't bring uh, all them kids nowhere around here, then I'm okay. He do whatever he want to do as long as he provide here. They used to have them like that back in the day. But you still got it, but like I say, it's called side chicks now. You know, you got a guy with a woman here, 
a wife and he got a whole side chick. He taking care of her. You know, you got dudes with 20 year side chicks. Like <laughs> I just don't get it. How are you going unaccounted for, you know, in, 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 at certain times? Like how do you, how do your woman not know the money's going to somewhere else? You get what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. And the side chick thing you have to me, you have to be a liar to pull that off. I don't lie very well. I've, that's never been the trait that thank God I've never had. That's why I just try to be straight shooter with everybody. I just try to be because I'm not a good liar. I never wanted that trait. I think that trait is an ugly trait for anybody that can lie with a straight face. Look at you did in your eye and lie. That's not me. I can't do that. I gotta be upfront and honest with you. If I'm at that point where I feel like I want to fool with someone else, I'm going to go on deal with my issue with right there talk to them and say, look, we're going to do something else because I'm just not you know, happy in the situation. So I go over here. I do not, <laughs> I can do it whatsoever. But some of y'all right now, it could be listening. You probably got a side chick or a side dude. And some of you women got three or four side dudes out there and you got a guy at home because, Oh, he don't do this for me. And this guy gave me money and this guy do this. Like, look, y'all practicing the same polygamy that they practicing in Nigeria and everywhere else. But you know, this woman, like I said, we we'll see, you know, if she choose to do that down the line and you, you have probably three simps that, that'll probably get with her, you know, because she got status and she got a lot of money. So yeah, you, you definitely, cause simping is not just in America. Simping is worldwide. And, um, y'all can definitely see three simps probably hitting up right now. Hey, uh, Ifu, um, you know, Hey, I'll be one of your husbands. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm looking at your Instagram and, and, and you know, you look good. And a, you, you know how these simps are. You the queen mother earth. And you know how they are. They, they say everything they think a woman want to hear. And them guys like that just <laughs> make me laugh. You know, all the simping that they choose to do online. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation, you know, with this actress. And do you think that she can actually get three husbands? Or do you think that men of means be like, that chick crazy. I think, you know, I'm going to sit up here and be what you all three of them, these men going to be in the same bed with this one woman. Like what kind of crap is that? Like any man in his right mind, when we talking about, um, alpha, you know, straight men would not be even getting down like that. But Hey, you know, these guys today, I don't know.